This is a quick video tutorial of the Rainbird RC series irrigation controller. It's a little bit older irrigation controller, but these controllers are very popular and are very easy to program. What we'll do is go through the programming of it. What we'll do is we'll start with the current time. So we'll get it here to 4 p.m. And then ultimately it is, we're gonna set the day. So it is Monday, we'll get that set. Now what we're gonna do is just make sure we got basically 30 minutes on the four zones that we currently have. Uh, this is a 12 station module, or excuse me, 12 station controller, but what we've got is just the four zones. So we'll make sure we got 30 minutes on the first four zones. If for some reason it comes out, we just kind of take this dial and ultimately uh, get it dialed in here. And then the rest of them, we just wanna make sure they're all in the uh, off position. Here we go. Now what we wanted to do is come on at four o'clock in the morning. So what we'll do is basically depress the, uh, the button there right at 4 a.m. And then we wanna water every other day. So what we'll do is push in the buttons here um, every other day. And now we've got our program set. What we're gonna do is it's coming on at four o'clock in the morning, watering every other day, 30 minutes on the, uh, on the first four zones here, the four zones that we have. What we'll do is put it in the automatic position and the irrigation controller is set to go. Now, with this irrigation controller, um, a lot of times people ask, how do I run it manually? What you'll do is basically leave it in the automatic position and then click to the zone that you wanna water. So for example, zone one here, um, and then now zone one is ultimately coming on. If we wanna skip and ultimately go to zone four, what we'll do is basically turn the dial right between zone three and four, allow it to keep going, and zone four comes on. So kind of how you, uh, how you uh, set the controller to come on manually. Um, once you're done running it manually, what you'll do is go back to the off position, get the, uh, get the dial set back to rest, put it back to the automatic position, and now it'll come on for the program that we have set. If there's ever rainfall with this controller, what you do is just simply turn it to the off position and the irrigation controller, controller will no longer run. Thank you for watching.